I know thy works, and tribulation, and poverty, but thou art rich. Welcome to The Black Excellence and Abundance Channel. What would the world be like without black inventors? Benjamin Banneker was an African-American born free on November 9th, 1731 in Baltimore County, Maryland. Born to Mary Banneke, a free black woman, and Robert, a freed slave from Guinea. Mr. Banneker, although we don't think of him that way, was one of the founding fathers of this nation that we call America. He was a multifaceted individual who had many, many talents. And on this video, we will be focusing on a couple of his great accomplishments, including the clock and the almanac. The truth of the matter is, this video can be at least four or five hours long if we talk about all of his accomplishments. But for the sake of time, we're gonna be focusing on a few. And we encourage everyone to please look up this great African American. In 1737, Banneker was named at the age of six on the deed of his family's 100 acre farm and Papasco Valley in rural Baltimore. Banneker had little formal education and was largely self-taught. He attended a few years of school as a very young child, but was entirely self-educated after the second grade. His formal education ended when he was old enough to help on his family's farm which was not unusual at that time. As a teenager, it is believed that he befriended a group of Quakers who established a school near the Banneker farm. Quakers were white men who were leaders in the anti-slavery movement and advocates of racial equality. He's known for many things, but one of them is he was part of a group that surveyed the original borders of the District of Columbia, which is current day Washington, DC, the federal capital district of the United States. Banneker's knowledge of astronomy helped him author a commercially successful series of almanacs. He corresponded with many of the top politicians of that era on topics of slavery and racial equality. Another amazing fact about this great founding father was that around 1753, at the age of 21, Banneker reportedly completed a wooden clock that struck on the hour. It is believed that he modeled his clock from a borrowed pocket watch by carving each piece to scale. This great invention purported continue to work until his death. Now folks, just think for a minute of all the clocks that have been created in this country since 1753. Every household in America has at least one clock. This is a mainstay in the American household today. This is something that we do not even think about. 
Many of us have more than one clock. Some of us have a clock on every floor and indeed a clock in every room. But the first clock that was created in this country was created by a black man. Benjamin Banneker is credited for making the very first clock to be built completely in America. Billions upon billions of clocks since 1753. But there is only one first one built by Benjamin Banneker. In 1759, after his father's death, Banneker lived with his mother and sisters. As stated earlier, he is also very well known for having several almanacs published. Banneker made astronomical calculations that predicted eclipses and planetary conjunctions for inclusion in an almanac and ephemerates for the year 1792. Banneker made astronomical calculations that predicted eclipses and planetary conjunctions for inclusion in his first published almanac and ephemeris for the year 1792. In astrology and celestial navigation, an ephemeris gives the trajectory of naturally occurring astrological objects as well as artificial satellites in the sky. This man was absolutely brilliant. To help Banniger in his efforts to have his almanac published, Andrew Elliott, who was a Quaker and who had earlier authored several almanacs and ephemerates of his own, forwarded Banniger's ephemerate to James Bimbleton. Bimberton was the president of the Philadelphia Society for promoting the abolition of slavery and for the relief of free Negroes unlawfully held in bondage. Bimberton then asked William Waring, a Philadelphia mathematician and ephemeris calculator, and David Rittenhouse, a prominent American astrologer, surveyor, and scientific instrument maker to confirm the accuracy of Banninger's work. Waring endorsed Banninger's work, stating, quote, I have examined Benjamin Banninger's almanac for 1792, and I am of the opinion that it well deserves the acceptance and encouragement of the public, unquote. Well, it didn't stop there. You see, Rittenhouse responded to Bimberton by stating that Banniger's ephemeris was a very extraordinary performance considering the color of the author and that he had no doubt that the calculations are significantly accurate for the purpose of the common almanac. He further stated, that every instance of genius amongst the Negroes is worthy of attention because their suppressors seems to lay great stress on their supposed inferior mental abilities. It is reported that Banniger replied to Rittenhouse's endorsement by stating, quote, I am annoyed to find that the subject of my race is so much stressed. The work is either correct or it is not. In this case, I believe it is perfect. Unquote. We have got to tell the truth. The unvarnished truth. Banneker's 1792 work was the first in a six-year series of almanacs and ephemerates that printers agreed to publish and sell. 
at least 28 editions of the almanacs, some of which appeared during the same year, were printed in seven cities in five states. Those locations are Baltimore, Philadelphia, Wilmington, Delaware, Alexandria, Virginia, Petersburg, Virginia, Richmond, Virginia, and Trenton, New Jersey. There is no doubt that his work on the Almanac and the Ephemerax were just as good as any other contributors. When we think of the founding fathers of this country, we do not think of Benjamin Banneker. Well, folks, we're here to let you know that he was at the forefront of the beginning of the development of this country, and his contributions stand to this day. Thank you, Mr. Banneker, and may God bless you for all eternity. The following are three quotes from Benjamin Banneker. The color of the skin is no way connected with the strength of the mind or intellectual powers. I am of the African race, and in the color which is natural to them of the deepest dye, and it is under a sense of the most profound gratitude to the supreme ruler of the universe. Never abandon your vision. Keep reaching to further your dreams. The Black Excellence and Abundance Channel, where black history is every day. Thanks for watching. Please remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And as always, thou art rich.